everyone and welcome to my channel today. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Heard That app. I am excited to talk about this app today as it can assist people with hearing loss. Welcome, if you're new, my name is Emily. I was diagnosed with my moderate to severe hearing loss at birth and I was fit with hearing aids at the age of four months old. So you could say I know quite a few things about hearing loss. All right, so one aspect of hearing loss is that treatment or hearing devices can be expensive. But today I'm going to share about the Heard That app and this can be an inexpensive help for people with hearing loss. So I'm going to start by talking about what is Heard That? How do you get the app? How do you use it? And then my personal experience using the app. So I hope you stick around to the end to listen to my personal experience with the Heard That app. The Heard That app is available for download on the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. Heard That is a smartphone app that is designed to enhance speech in noisy environments. It uses AI to remove background noise, making conversations easier to understand in those noisy environments. The Heard That app is extremely beneficial for people that need a simple app to help them hear. This app is extremely easy to use. You simply download it and then you hit start on directional mode. When you hit directional mode, it'll bring up some helps or instructions. For example, make sure the microphone is pointing towards the person who's talking to you and realize that you won't be able to hear your own voice in directional mode. And last but not least, if you want to hear all voices, turn to the all directions mode. I really appreciate that the Heard That app is very clear in their communication what to expect when you are using it and exploring in the app. The Heard That app essentially turns your phone into a remote microphone and reduces background noise through that. So because of the way this app works, you do need to have some sort of listening device. So the nice fact was I was able to use my hearing aids as those Bluetooth streaming devices. All right, so what are some use cases for the Heard That app? This is a great question. Think noisy environments. So I personally use this in the car, in a restaurant. And other use cases include family or social gatherings, listening to the TV, or just while you're out and about shopping. Key features of the Heard That app include the fact that you really don't need any new devices for this to work. Assuming that you have a pair of wired or Bluetooth earbuds or headphones that you can use to plug into your smartphone, this app is a pretty private means of hearing, especially for someone like me who is using my hearing aids. No one would know I was using the app because the app was taking the sound and bumping it straight to my hearing aids. I will say wired headphones would make this app a little bit more visible in use. But because I used my Bluetooth headphones and I used it in the conversation, no one noticed that I had another piece of earwear or earbuds in my ears while I was trying to talk to them. So it was pretty natural for other people to speak to me while I was using the Heard That app. This app can work on thousands of different models of phones, Androids and iPhones specifically. There are two modes, a directional mode and an all direction mode. Directional means that your front microphone from your phone, at least on my iPhone, would take in the sound only from that direction. The all directional mode means that I can hear the sound all the way around. It was nice to have these two options to toggle back and forth depending on the scenario I was in. I mentioned at the beginning of this video that pricing is a huge pro or good aspect of this app. You can have a free 30 day trial, try it out, figure it out, tweak with the setting, see if you like it. And then after that, you can pay $10 a month on a reoccurring basis, or you can buy a yearly plan for $100. It's definitely more affordable compared to some other hearing amplifiers, uh, OTC hearing aids, or even prescription hearing aids like the ones I wear. This can be a really cost-effective option, especially if you just want to use wired headphones with your smartphone. Now, if you're thinking cost is still an issue to me, what if I really like this? The great news is I have partnered with Heard That, the app, 
to offer one of my viewers a free subscription. So if you are interested in getting that, please let me know in the comments below and we'll do a random drawing about two weeks after this video is posted with those that post interested in the Hertha app in the comments below. I hope you get to be the recipient of this wonderful new subscription. Okay, so now that I have talked about the Heard That app and kind of the background, I wanna talk a little bit about how it works and the scenarios I used it in and my thoughts and experiences with that. I mentioned earlier that I use this in different use cases. The first place was the car. So when you download the app and you log in, then you ensure that your headphones or your earphones or your Bluetooth hearing aids, in my case, are connected. And then you simply hit start in the directional mode that you want to start with. So I was in the car, I used the one direction mode, I hit start. This took a little bit of learning because the one direction is based on the microphone on the front of your phone. That microphone needs to be facing wherever the sound is coming from. So when I was in the car, it was my temptation to hold my phone looking at it, but then it picked up my voice. So I had to make sure to point my phone towards my husband or even up on the dashboard if he was driving and looking. Because I found with the directional microphone, if he was driving and not looking at me, it still had a tough time picking it up. So the one direction aspect of this app is really good at one direction. But keep in mind, if someone is outside of that direction, you won't hear them. All right, so the next scenario that I used this in was ordering at Chick-fil-A. So I wanted to see if I could clearly hear the cashier while I was ordering at Chick-fil-A. Keep in mind, Chick-fil-A is a busy restaurant and ordering is always the worst. <laughs> um, I think subway ordering is probably the hardest for me because it's behind a glass and so much more. I could have a whole tangent about that. But I wanted to put this to the test, so I did. And I found out again with the one directional mode because I wanted to cut out all of the all direction sound. Um, I had to hold my phone at a certain angle so that the sound was received properly and streamed to my hearing aids properly. It's really important that you have a good phone with good connection. So data processing is really important. I did notice it cut out a couple times when I was trying to order, especially since I was trying to learn how the app picked up the sound. After we placed that order, we actually were waiting for our order by the counter and my husband ran into an old friend. So I toggled between different modes, just kind of testing it out. And the one directional mode was so nice to be able to hear that friend, hear her clearly um, and understand how they knew each other. The all directional mode in that environment was a lot, but all directional mode is important if you want to listen to multiple people talking if they're not right in front of you because they need to be right in front of you for the one directional mode to work. And then last but not least, I proceeded to use this app in the busy restaurant setting with Joel right in front of me. That was definitely the most, I would say, user-friendly uh fastest easiest way to use this app on the one direction mode because joel was right in front of me my phone was on the table and the directional mic could pick up the sound just perfectly so i learned that different scenarios can require different settings or adjustments especially from the user's perspective to make sure that they have a good listening environment I definitely preferred the single direction aspect of the Heard That app. I found that in the all direction aspect of the app, it would catch my voice and cause an echo. This would cause me to lower my voice, lower the volume of my voice, and it caused me to slow down in terms of how fast I was speaking. I didn't sound normal. I sounded very different because the phone microphone was picking up my voice and putting it into my ears. So I felt like a musician on stage that was dealing with kind of that echoing where your sound goes out and comes back, but it's delayed. 
and that makes it really hard to be an active part of a conversation. Now it makes it possible, very possible, to be a passive part. So I think that's important to keep in mind as well. All right, so there is my review of the Heard That app. Overall, I am so excited that I am learning about more opportunities for people to hear, especially cost-effective opportunities. Remember that this app has a free 30-day trial, so go check it out, download it. I'll include a link in the description below. This is a paid promotion by the Heard That app, so keep that in mind. If you have any questions about my experience with this app, please let me know in the comments below. I look forward to reading and answering to your comments. I hope you got something out of this video. Please take a moment to like this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I look forward to making more great hearing loss related content for you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.